Penny for your thoughts. I hate Brenda, and a bad guy hit me in the shin, and I peed all in my pants. <laughs> Nothing a little music can't help. Rockin', rockin' and rollin'. Down to the beach I'm strollin'. But the seagulls poke in my head. Not fun. I said seagulls. Mm, stop it now. Seagulls gonna come, poke me in the coconut, and they did, and they did, had me going like, ah. Oh. Me. 
Welcome back, everybody, to another Appreciating Comic Book Art Live. Yo, I'm excited to be back. I missed you guys. It's been like we you know, missed you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I would miss me too. I'm just saying. <laughs> Still <laughs> modest. <laughs> uh no, it's it's great. Uh, three weeks off was was too much, and I had a couple of people hitting me up and wondering why I wasn't streaming. Uh, and I'll just take a second to say this real quick, and not spend too much time on it, but. Uh, for everybody that doesn't know, my father, Greg Sontag, passed away on February 28th, um, died at home, which was his wish, and I decided to take some time off to be with family, close family, uh, obviously my immediate family, and then uh, be there for my mom and do uh, everything I needed to do in that process. So uh, it was actually only going to be a week off because, you know, I'm stubborn. I was like, I'm just going to take a week off and I'll be back to streaming. Uh, but you know, I, I thought better of it and then took an entire almost month off. So uh, I thank you, everybody that, that reached out uh, and checked on me in DMs and comments, uh, text messages. That was very sweet of everybody. It meant a lot to me. Uh, it meant a lot to my family to see the, the outreach uh, of support. And so thank you to uh, thank you to you all for that. I, I really appreciate it. I love you guys. You made the, the time a lot easier. And I thank you. But. I'm back, ready to do this, ready to dive into what we love to do, which is talk about comic books, look at comic book art. I uh, got some fun announcements this this uh, this show. We're going to talk about a new show that we're going to be what? doing here towards the end. What? More streaming? What? We're streaming? Yeah. Again? Fuck. Yeah. You know? You know? We're going to pull double. We'll talk about it. Kayla's running late, you know, of course. <laughs> but she just texted me and let, let me know her computer is turning on so she'll be jumping on here shortly but we got some announcements for reaper destroyer uh new show that we're going to be doing that's going to be really fun uh to look forward to so stick around for that before we get started i'm going to hit the chat real quick mm. it doesn't show up right now because mm. mark was the first one in here yesterday when i posted the event so mark Penguin is number one in the chat and number one in our hearts hail the lore was number one today when i've reposted it appreciate you good to nice. see you brother uh by the way hail the core 20 I'm gonna read all these things. It's been three weeks, so let me do that real quick. Before I forget, the core 20 is in the house. Hashtag C20. Good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. We love you all. We got Henry in the house. What's up? Says uh sup. Joe Cool. Yes, that's right. I forgot about that. It. That's right. I don't I care. Forgot about that. See, it's been so long. You guys got to remind me of some of this stuff. I'm off it. Joe Cool crew. I love it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking and rolling right off the bat. <laughs> By the way, member of the channel, Hail the War. Member of the channel, <coughs> Hail, house. Hail girl. Good to see you. Got those ducks going. If you guys do know, if you know the thing, drop some ducks in the chat for Shannon. It's great to see mm -hmm. you. Great to see you. Uh, Marvel should have gotten Brett Booth to do Spider Man facts. Yep. I would love to see him do a run on Spidey. I can mm -hmm. only imagine how cool he would have drawn all the Spidey villains. Dude, when this book came yes. out, by the way, guys, we're looking at Backlash Spider Man. Uh, the uh, Wild Storm Marvel crossover with amazing art by Brett Booth. And as soon as I saw this as a kid, I was like, they, Brett needs to draw Spider Man. You would and think it was one of the best portrayals of Spider Man I think I'd seen to that point. And that's not taking anything away from guys like Bagley and McFarlane. And yeah, Martin. it is. Yeah, okay, it's taking a little bit, but this was, I mean, it was, it was something else. It was something else. Mm -hmm. Tuck Bacon's in the house. What's up? Welcome back, Joe. Hail Sean. Hail Kayla. Hail the Dominion. That's not what it says. Domination. Mm. It's back. I love it. I love it. Hail, brother. Good to see you. Uh, who else we got here? Let's roll down here. Rick Sailor, member of the channel, is in the house as well. Good to see you, brother. Thank you. Uh, this oldest. Thursday. What's up, brother? Go ahead, Go ahead man. This Thursday, uh, we're going to have Rick on with us. He's going to show us some uh, art debuts. That's going to be for Type 1, another one, and yeah. then uh, maybe Joey as well. So we got some pretty big stuff coming on this Thursday. Yeah, we're going to try to catch up on some things that we've been uh, missing out on. Uh, all this is in the house. Is good evening, all. Good evening to you, brother. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Really good to see you, actually. It's been a second. Uh, Timescales is in the house. Member of the channel. Stop. Thank you for being here, brother. Appreciate that. We got Edwin. Mm -hmm. Member of the channel is in the house. It's hail, peeps. Hail to you. Hail to you. Member of the channel, Cosmic Studios is here as well. Nice. All right. All right. Member of the channel, Astro Zombie. Hail, hail. to you. All Thank right. you for being here. Jolly Green's in the house. What's up? I get Look at oh, oh, we also have uh, a <clears throat> Christopher <clears throat> Bouchard. Bouchard hanging out, ready to roll. 
Good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Who else have we got? I don't want to miss anybody being the first show back for a while. Uh, Beats the fuck out of me. I was to say YS. YSA. Yeah. YSA. Glad you guys back. Still thinking of you, Joe, and yours. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. I really do. Black Spider's in the house. I don't think I've seen that before. What's up? Awesome. I love it, though. What is up with you? Uh, oh, shit. Of course. Of course. Got Kayla in the house. Mm. <laughs> Good to see you. What are you eating? You know, um, the, the audience needs to know. Jamaican jerk chicken and mashed potatoes. I just threw it on my plate and ran in here because my computer started updating. Of course. Of course. Sorry. That is course. how it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got mm -hmm. Henry Bemis in the house. Hail, brother. Good to see you. What's up, Henry? Uh, just want to say that Brett Booth is a fantastic artist. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. Got Charles Rubis in the house. Hail, brother. Member of the channel. Good to see you. Uh, member chat from Tarks9. Member of the channel. Thank you, brothers. 21 months. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Thank you so much. It's Hail Comics Gate. Hail Joe and Hail Sean. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. you. Got Sheldon Martin in the house as well. Good to see you guys. Member of the channel. Jamaican <laughs> Hoosier <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Before we get started and get rolling here, I just want to go around and uh, say, hey, because I actually haven't talked to either of you guys much over the last three weeks, really. Uh, how's it going? Missed you guys. What have you been doing about me? This and that. I Not much. Mid move. Uh moving Friday. So that sucks. No, nah, that does suck. Uh drawing. That's cool. I'm just gonna do what I do. Not special. What about you? There's a super chat, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I've been uh I've been getting by. Shanny, <laughs> holy shit. Wow. For ninety nine ninety nine says love you and the Aqua family Joe we've been missing you all incredible sorry incredibly sorry for your loss Joe we're always here for you so glad to see you back pouring one out for your papa may his memory live on forever cheers my family thank you so much that that means that's so awesome let's drop some ducks in the chat please for that oh, that was the wrong part let me let me let me do that too ducks in the chat. And I will uh, definitely queue up here. How many ducks can I drop? Let's see. What do a couple kicking do? in the dicks diddly for her. Do at least like yeah, four or five. Like two, two that, that's like, like that, that. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Do like four or five. All right. I got okay. I got some ducks in there. Yes. Let's love do. Shani. Let's do this. We actually haven't done this in a while. So this is for you, Shani. We love you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hello, Eugenia. Jimmy King. You are a bastard. Yeah! Let me help you up. I guess I deserve that. Oh, I just had to kick you in the diddly again. One more time around. Hello, Eugenia. Jimmy King. Oh! You are a bastard. Yeah! Let me help you up. I guess I deserve that. Oh, I just had to kick you in the diddly again. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Got the trophy there. Okay. We're going to dive into some art. We're going to dive into some art. We'll, we'll talk about some announcements after this. But let's get rolling with this. Uh, I've talked enough about me. Hmm. Let's go with this one. I forgot to upload this. It'll take two seconds. There we go. Ah. Yeah, here we go. All right. So before I start this, I've been wanting to try to stream to, to X again. The last time we did it, everything pixelated. Now, I don't mm -hmm. know if that's because we were streaming to YouTube and X and uh, wherever, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Should I throw it on there or just roll with what we got? What do you guys think? Yeah, give it a little. All right. Let me see. Let me see. See if I can add. If it starts pixelating someone in the chat, let us know. So that way we can pull it away from X. Yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. That might have started it. If it's if it's if it's streaming on X, 
we'll know. But yes, if it's pixelating, please let us know, and uh, we'll we'll stop that shit right off the bat. Because mm-hmm. I don't know, uh, I don't know why I was doing that last time. Mm. We'll see. Oh, the gooch up, is in the house. Up, Yo, what's up, everyone? Yo, Joe, Sean, and Kayla. Kayla, brother, good to see you. Mm. <laughs> right in the diddly. <laughs> oh yeah, this is we eat on stream here. Yeah, I uh, K- K- Kayla eats on stream here. We, yeah. we 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 are not allowed. That's true. I have no shame. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and. There we go, Steve. I just got. I got rushing out of work. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> like I'm not gonna not eat. We, to we, stream. <laughs> we let Kayla eat while we stream here. By the way, 31 people in the chat. Good to see you guys. Core 20 is in the house. Three people watching over on Rumble. Appreciate you guys. I have no idea if this is actually streaming on, on X or not, but if it is, welcome to everybody that might be watching over there. We are looking at Backlash Spider-Man, art by the amazing motherfucking Brett Booth. Mm-hmm. By the way, if you are a member of the channel, uh, drop the Brett emojis in the chat. I want to see those. The uh, Serpent Prince. Let's go. Uh, Sean, what do you remember Yo, about this book? God damn, what do I remember? I remember getting the American, ex- American Entertainment exclusive of this cover, of the variant. Oh Remember yeah! The summer that this hit, this was my favorite book out of all of the like extreme Wildstorm collabs with Marvel that summer, uh, leading up to Heroes Were Born. This is just fucking poetry to me. Like, like Brett was kicking on all different types of cylinders. I wish he drew Spider Man more. He's one of my top five Spider Man artists, even though he's only done this part two and then just some commissions and sketches, but. This is just fire. Like I go through this almost once or twice a month just to look for like cool, like yeah, shit to swipe. Not gonna lie to you. I, no, I need swipe cool, all day long. Let's go. Yeah, I need I, I need cool fucking uh, figure work. So like I go to Brett Booth any day, all day. But this is a great book. Uh, even though it was like the Clone Saga, but like I liked the Clone Saga because I was a kid. Yeah. I'm not gonna apologize for that. Fuck yeah. you if you have an issue with that. But <laughs> this is a great fucking comic. You, you know? got the like, uh, uh, Ben Riley right. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the Spider Man that's in. So not Peter Parker. We got Ben Riley, which was the I guess quote unquote the original Spider Man. Yeah, the but timeline. still a, a, a sperm donor. Like yeah, so, yeah, still yeah, that, yeah. that 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 Parker motique, motique that that spectacularness. I will say, this you know, is we, a great book. We got to see the cool. I I did like the the design, the costume design in this era. I thought was yeah. was awesome. Kayla, what do you remember about this? Did you like this? Were you a big fan of it? What's up? I was like seven years old when this book came out. Oh, book shit. Came out. <laughs> um, to be honest, <laughs> it came out when I was like literally seven years old. Damn um, what old. I do remember reading it as I got older um, is like the storyline. So basically Sp- Spider-Man just like runs into, I believe it's, what is it? Pike mm-hmm. in Manhattan. And Pike is looking for backlash and taboo, I want to say. Yes. Um, Because they shut down, like, they shut down, um, what was it with the cabal? Something with the cabal. Um, Whatever the case. But then Venom ends up kidnapping Taboo and all of that stuff. So it's been a while since I've touched base on this. However, I do think that um, Brett Booth, his Spider-Man, is heavily influenced by my boy. You know I'm going to say it. It's been weeks. Tom Dellinger. Adams. (laughs) Way off. You, you're probably right because Booth was a fan of Adams, but I do mm-hmm. see some McFarlaneisms and I do see mm-hmm. some Bagleyisms in this I run. Some Bagleyisms, and, definitely. And a little Capullo. I mean, a little, a little, uh, little Campbell. A little, little bit. Campbell. Uh, Henry said, "What year was this book?" Um, 1996. Came out in August of 1996, I believe. Yeah. Nice. Shani for ten months. Look at that. Remember for ten. <laughs> Months says also claiming my membership milestone. I earned it. You did. You did. So here you go. I love you, Jenny. Jenny King. Oh! You are a bastard. Yeah. Let me help you up. I guess I deserve that. Oh, oh I just had to kick you in the deadly again. One more time again. I think mm. they also too didn't they use like a scrap of venom in this? Yeah. To help. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let's not get into it too much. Down. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to it. We'll get there. Let's it's not the give the, yeah. Listen, it's, it's <laughs> Let's not spoil it. If, if you haven't seen it yet, let's not spoil it just yet. All right. I'm just saying here. 
what I loved about this book is this was the first time, don't get me wrong, Marvel had great artists, right? But I was in love with the image style, the image colors, everything. This is the first time that you saw like a Marvel world in a, in a wild storm way. You know what I'm Properly saying? Properly colored. Yeah. And it looked amazing. I mean, this yeah. book still stands out today. Look at this. Look at that. Look yeah. at this. Amazing. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Pun intended. The, Let's go. The amazing Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, just, okay. Yeah. You got to throw in the, the double page spread. I mean, just Brett, when you look at his art, yeah, nowadays you look, he's, he's improved so much, but he was always mm -hmm. badass. He's even like, in his early days, he was badass. He this always was like when he was the way really I saw him stride. drawing. Yeah. Like even like when he was doing like backlash, like alone, like the way he drew is how he draws now. You yeah. Know? But he, even though it's different, like I just always seen how great he fucking was as a kid to now. It's just like, damn. Glad this guy's still around. Oh, man. Hands down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the comic book world is better with him in it. That is absolutely true. And doesn't it show how fucking stupid it is that that Marvel won't hire them for for this? Like, put yeah, him in the Delso on Spider Man. Like, that's an instant seller. Like, way well, better than the, the, this 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 crappy ass art that's coming out lately. It just so, shows you that Marvel still has no idea what they're doing. Because yeah. once you when you had Brett in the fold doing some X Men stuff, I mean you 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 dropped the ball on that because you gave him just like these one shot X Men stories. Yeah. When you could have grabbed him and said, hey, we're going to do Daredevil. We're going to do Spider-Man. We're going to do something with Brett involved. And he would have just killed it. Yeah. Uh, I would have loved to have seen him have a run in, in Marvel instead of DC. I mean, he did great stuff in DC. Don't get me wrong. But look at the just look at the detail on that. I love the shadowing, the shaping on the, the costume. The way that they did this kind of back in the 90s is I think the way that it should always be done. There's just so much depth, so much stuff to look at in that costume. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And do you uh do you remember when when we had him on probably one of the first times he he pitched them originally a daredevil story right yeah I, I believe but so they're yeah. like if you do this then you can do that that didn't happen unfortunately but this is a fucking piece of work right here oh, again this the was the best I'd seen are great the body proportions mm -hmm. are great the perspective of the buildings is fantastic that big moon in the back the faces at the bottom I definitely the faces definitely do look capullo ish. Yeah, this era of Brett's faces, it was very, uh, it stood out as Brett. Like anytime you saw somebody's face in this area, you knew it was Brett Booth right off the bat. He, he drew kind of a similar mm -hmm. uh, shape, I guess you could say, to the way he did faces, which was pretty cool. It does kind yeah. of look a little Capullo-ish. I, I, I get you on that. Uh, Christopher said, what do you think of the new spawn that Booth is doing? I think it's amazing, and we'll talk more about mm -hmm. that after we're done with this, because we, we do have an announcement about another show we're going to be doing in uh, the weeks to come. Pike, I always thought was a really cool character. Probably just because he looked like Deadpool. But yeah, well, one of the better Deadpool ripples. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, not too bad. By the way, fifty-eight people watching. If you guys haven't yet, please smash the like. We appreciate that. It helps our algorithm and all that good shit. I guess. Look at his eyes. That guy could draw some really great eyes. Take notes, mm -hmm. people. I really enjoyed his Venom too. He kind of gave Venom a little bit of a, a beak sometimes. Kind of, kind of maybe McFarlane. like the Ven like the the alien like uh, from Alien. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're like, you know, Bagley was drawing like just kind of this flat face with the mouth, which mm -hmm. was really cool. Uh, I think McFarlane had a little bit more animation to the mouth. Right. Uh, but this, yeah, it's kind of a very unique way that he was just kind of drawing Venom, but it works. It's awesome. A hell of a character, by the way. And he reserved the tongue. Like, he didn't use it as much as most people do, which is, I think is kind of stupid. Yeah. But, yeah, I like it. Got uh, it. I don't know. It's it's weird. Like anybody, anytime you get a a artist, you know the caliber of Brett doing something, I feel like it just it ups mm -hmm. the product. Same thing with Spawn. Um, when he jumped on Gunslinger, now that he's on Spawn, I just feel like it's at another level. You know, like he's just one of those artists that elevates everything he does mm -hmm. to to eleven. You know, like this is actually probably the first time I'm enjoying Spawn since he's jumped on it, uh, and I'm really getting into the story. So Gunslinger was awesome. Yeah. When I was thinking about a uh, book to look at and coming back and having not streamed for a while, I was like, uh, I have an idea what we're going to go into in the in the months to come. But I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I saw this. It was laying uh, pretty much on the shelf over there. And I was like, we're going to look at this. This is some inspiring stuff. I think it's our second go around. <clears throat> I, mm... No, we looked at Backlash. We, I know we've looked at Backlash. I know we had a Brett Booth I show. We, I, I think this was BK. Huh. 
Well, anyway, anyway if, it's fucking dope as shit. I would say if we do it before, <laughs> we're doing, it, we're doing his, it again. I definitely think his people here are good, but I think now the way that he draws people, especially women, is great. He definitely is someone that he has not peaked. He's oh, 100%. Hungry. He just gets 100%. better and better and better and better. His characters here, how he's drawing the people, they have a more cartoony kind of mm -hmm. look to them than what he's doing. Big eyes, really big now. eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the biggest change you can see in his art, like improvement, is just the way he does faces, body styles, all that. You're, you're absolutely right. Definitely um, very but, manga inspired too here. Oh, I agree. Mm -hmm. But this is manga. something that should inspire anybody, mm -hmm. artist, writer, whatever. When you when you look back at somebody's work and just see how good they were at this point in their career and just how much better they got, you know, uh, 15, 16 years later or whatever, you know, like just Brett you would think he's a young guy, right? Because he's just how much he's producing right now. You would think he's a young artist that's just kind of blowing up right now. He's been around since 92 Look at the and he's just hitting his stride. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, the oh, bottom the of the sneaker. I have oh, shit, this I didn't even notice that. I have Man. a, come on, now this eagle eye here. No, that's, that's I good. I always good. have this thing with, whenever an artist draws like the bottom of shoes, or sneakers or a boots, there needs to be some kind of tread or something on it. It just looks yeah. so much fucking cooler. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get it. I, I do get it. <laughs> I do get it. Uh, Henry said, looking at the character Pike, you can imagine how he would have drawn Deadpool. Yeah, that would have been. I mean, I'm telling you, Brad drawing anybody would be great, hands down. I'll just leave it at that. Name any character, any book for him to take over, and I think it would be awesome. Look at that gesture from Taboo. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, at the, at top, the top where they're kicking? Yeah. yeah. That's like a very classic. Let me see if I can back up. That's a very classic kind of like, it probably comes from Arthur Adams, but I'm going to say Jim Lee, and I know Kayla's going to yell at me. Mm -hmm. um, but that in like the 90s, that's like one of those really classic, sexy, just, you know, kicks flying kicks you could you you could draw a woman in i remember a zealot from wildcats 5 was in a kind of a similar pose a little bit different direction yeah but no it's beautiful beautiful that's the chun li street fighter pose oh you there you know. go I what's don't know. interesting here too is if you notice a lot of these pages so far there's nothing too heavy in the background just and this is a manga approach here with these type yes. of um line work that's in here it's not quite speed line it's like um a lot of etching a lot of cross matching oh, yeah. just the uh, the spacing and everything um the movement this is very to me screams manga because there's not too much in the the background your focal point is these characters and the actions that are going on yeah um, do, do you get what i'm saying like there's oh yeah absolutely just very what? speed liney or I would much rather something like this showing the action and giving more energy to the page than trying mm -hmm. to fit some kind of background all the time into a panel, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, I don't want to see the fucking sign for the women's bathroom. Yeah. Like, get it's, out of here. It's like we establish where they're fighting. You can have four or five, you know, quick action panels without any kind of background. And it doesn't change the fact that we know where the characters are at. It depends on the artist, I feel. That's true. I mean, that's true. That's Dennis Kelly says, person. welcome back, Joe, Kayla, Sean, and hey, 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 to the chat, and hail all. Hail to you, yeah. brother. What is going on? Good to I see really you. I really love um, Spider-Man's physique, the way that he draws Spider-Man's physique, like <coughs> lean muscle, muscles, the proportioning. Mm -hmm. is that's why I say it reminds me of Bagley, because he was, I mean, mm. Larson drew a skinny Spider-Man, too, but Bagley, when he came on and hit his stride, it was very lean muscular very defined but very like gymnastic slim. Yeah, yeah yeah gymnast gymnastic uh, spider-man this is exactly what i see in here and i actually think that that's the way spider-man should always kind of be depicted to me that's the yeah. way he looks same as all this yeah. says the art of the era uh but illustrates that clean line set that jeez let me just bring it up here i can read it bigger let me read it yes yeah, so you just do that go ahead let's the start. art is of era but illustrates that clean line that set Brett Booth apart, though. I can certainly appreciate it. Hands which down. Is, which, yeah, I mean, all this is a pulp guy. So, <laughs> yes. Well, which is why I never worry, you know, when all this, 
I know what all this likes and what he doesn't like. So, but I do know it's what like he this Jim Lee character is trash. <laughs> it's like, all right, we got you. The shadow's the shit. We know, we know. Well, the shadow is the shit. I'll say <laughs> the that. The shadow is the shit. I will. I will Shout out to Alec Baldwin. Actually, yes. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on the gutter on Friday, talking about Conan and the Tower of the Elephant. Oh, nice. So we we'll check the that out. Is all this is show. So I'm excited. We're going to be looking at some Busama Conan and talking about it. So the great Roy Thomas. So, yes. Pike is such a douchebag. He, he kicks uh, a baby in front of a bus. bus. Look I got to respect He's, that. Yeah. <laughs> it was in his way. The, wow. That baby is scary looking. I just big have eyes. to say that. <laughs> big eyes. Draw, drawing babies suck. I mean, come on. Let's, let's. Yeah, drawing drawing kids in general suck. Let's just say, you know, big heads, little bodies. Yeah, it's just it's, they it's look like right. aliens. Yeah, I think they're aliens. Small hands, smell of cabbage. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We didn't even we didn't even go over the silhouettes on the last page. Oh yeah, well, I mean, we kind of drifted into. Uh, I was just letting you talk. Where so what I, I miss? Figured... Oh, with the bus and stuff. Yeah, there was silhouettes oh, yeah. there. There was silhouettes on the other side too, I believe. <laughs> But I was talking, so I just blah, 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 blah. you know how I get. Oh, you know. So, oh, see on the bottom silhouettes. See, yeah, I knew it wasn't great. We love silhouettes here, by if, yeah. if you guys are just checking the show off for the first time, we're big fans of silhouettes here. Mm -hmm. By the way, we got seventy-two people in the chat. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys haven't yet, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build the channel uh, as much as we can, but we are looking at backlash and Spider-Man from nineteen ninety-six. I think we said mm -hmm. Brett Boot. Amazing work uh, doing his uh, Wildstorm uh, best, I would say, right now. Got to jump on one of the flagship characters of Marvel and take him for a ride with one of the badass characters of Wildstorm in Backlash. A character has been way underused over uh, since they went to DC. 100%. Something that he does great with Spider-Man as mm -hmm. far as making his face look more expressive, he adds this like kind of furrowing. Like furrowing, that's the word here, like in between the eye, what would be the eyebrow area on the costume. You guys you have know, to see the example. The line. Like here, the furrowing. Fur, like the fur, furrowing. Fur, fur, furrowing. Furrowing. Furrowing? Furrowing or furrowing? Furrowing or furrowing? Your brows. What? Arouse? What? What are no, we talking no. about? No. Oh, my goodness gracious. The hell is happening you just got to look at a paint dry. Nah, um, but no, if you notice <laughs> in between the eyebrow area, we're like yes. right here. He does shows a little bit more of that expression. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we got I John K from Australia. Good eye. What's up? Good to see Good you. Good day, mate. Put another <laughs> on the bar, <Bobby. laughs> Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you. Um, Backlash. What a what an awesome character. Cool. Such an awesome character when he when he came out. Like just great look. Fun story. That's one of the things I think why I'm so excited about Brett's book, uh, The Lost Serpent Prince, coming out. Because that's like closest I think you're going to get to uh, Backlash. Because mm. DC ain't ever doing anything with him again. Is that, a DG? Is that a Daredevil logo in the background? Like an Easter Yeah, he's got egg? a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, on the walls. That's why I was... You know where Brett's heart was. He was like, I want to do a DD story. Or at least he was mm -hmm. maybe planning on doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But dropping some Easter eggs. You got Matt in the house. Hail. Good to see you. Yeah. Good day. Uh, he got that style from Tom McFarlane. Uh, yo, I'd say a lot of people. Did. I mean, we all know what McFarlane did to uh, revolutionize Spider-Man, especially with the eyes and the webbing. That one on the left is, is awesome. I would just copy it so many times just because you get more of a, the figure work of the chest. Yeah. You kind of learn a little bit more as opposed to like the crouching and shit. So I've always looked at that when I was a kid. I was like that. I think he okay. almost drew Spider-Man's eyes even bigger in this mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. most of the other artists. Yeah. Love the Venom on that last page. His Venom's cool. It gets even better. If you guys haven't seen these books, there's two issues to this crossover. And in the second issue, you get a lot more Venom uh, action, I would say. And he does some carnage. amazing things. Yeah, carnage. a little bit, yeah. a little, a little carnage esque going on. But we won't spoil it just yet. We won't spoil it just yet. Look at this gorgeous Great handshake. Look at that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're probably gonna. No, I was gonna say the gorgeous hands. <laughs> okay, good. I was about to say like that's just a great. 
<laughs> subtle things, subtle things in comics, right? Things that are very hard to draw. Hands, hands. they suck. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of people, you know, people. struggle with hands. I myself, you know, have to really concentrate on drawing hands, and sometimes it's even a, it's a bitch to do. But to draw a handshake like that and make it look natural, that's awesome. Nailed it. Small things, but it makes a comic look great, you know. Mm. Even the wrist, like what he did with the wrist and the inner arm and everything, it's just great. Nice. Kind of what Matt's saying here, yeah. He likes the inking on the forearms. Mm -hmm. The inking back in the '90s, I still think is the like the the top of the mountain. The way that they would uh, ink shapes and ink figures in the '90s, I think, is untouched. Oh yeah, I, I completely that? forgot this was a wraparound cover. So here you oh, go. Oh, Tom McSweeney is that the name? Tom McSweeney. 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 Did he McSweeney? pass away? I don't think so. All I right. think he just has a lot of money. <laughs> okay, I, I have so not seen I him remember... around. But he was a hell of a talent. Yeah. Why do I feel like there was like three covers for this book? There was a lot. There was. Yeah. yeah. There was an like, American I Entertainment. Remember, yep, I, I remember that one. That, but then I remember like there was one. Um, it had Spider Man like jumping with the moon. And... It might be number two. Yeah, that was number two. Maybe. Him and okay. him okay. and Backlash. Yeah, but they did have multiple yeah. covers for issue one. Mm -hmm. These are the only two I have though. And the cool thing about the American, oh, yeah, that's yeah. What See? I was thinking of, yeah, yeah. The back of it, it's got that that cool team up where they're back to back. Mm -hmm. where you see them kind of like just like looking. Yeah, at it, that. uh, that's on the American Entertainment one. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought that was a cool uh, promotional piece. And he just redrew that maybe like three or four years ago. Just for I thought he did. I, I thought that I had a, a memory of that, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. Even what he does with the foot, <laughs> with Spider Man's foot. I, I freaking hate feet, but I'm all about having detail at the bottom of like shoes and everything. But with this costume, oh, yeah. he has he basically shades in like the line areas with the natural parting of your foot would be like in between the pads on the bottom of your foot. It's very yeah. interesting because you don't really see that occur all the time for someone to give that much detail. Todd yeah. definitely did that with his feet for sure. I think anybody like uh, from that generation, like us, that that tries oh, to draw no, any kind of, go ahead. Look at the back. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's me. That was wrong. Yeah. 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 I'd almost forgot that was on. I almost went uh, went on. I was like, oh shit, they got that back. Yeah, this is just a cool ass uh, shot. I always liked uh, backlash with a little bit more of the wavy hair instead of the short hair, but this mm -hmm. was still like, man, look at the, the different line work and the muscles and backlash's costume. Mm. Having that black really works with the light hidden off it. Man, that's beautiful. By the way, 85 people in the chat. This is the most we've had in a while. Good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We are looking Everybody at Backlash Spider-Man from 96. Brett Booth. That's Brett Booth Spider-Man is killer. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Agreed. All right, here we go. You know what's funny is I just remember this just dawned on me. When I was a kid, I actually missed the first issue. It started with issue two because that's all I could find. I had to, it took me a while to find issue one, but this was the first. This page sticks out of my mind. It just kind of hit a nostalgic uh, button in me just seeing this. Like this was just I, I thought this was the coolest thing when I was a kid because I was really big into Brett Booth at the time. Seeing him draw one of my favorite characters was awesome. You open up to this page right here where he's got taboo. Just I'll beat the fuck. Pike is there and Venom's just looking boss as shit. Like this was this was awesome. And it looks like the symbiote for her costume kind of wants to intermingle with Venom's symbiote. Oh, yeah, let me back up for mm -hmm. a second. Yeah, it did. It that's, does. That's interesting. Yeah, I never caught that before. That is really cool. Yeah, because uh, both all these characters have symbiotes. Different yeah. worlds, you know, different universes, but it was a kind of a natural crossover and, and an idea to have Venom in there when they did. It's it's an interesting choice too to have yes. the location like where the location is with the stained glass and everything too, almost yeah. as if yeah, he's church um, going on. Messiah in some type of way. Um, that's like there's some hidden symbolism there. I would like to know what exactly it is because I believe people put like hidden symbolism in things. Next time we have Brett on, remind us and we'll ask. I think that'd be kind of interesting. Um, Black Spiders, that is a Pike from Wildcats, the Wildstorm mm -hmm. universe. Does look like Deadpool, absolutely. <laughs> that's probably what's that's probably what's happening. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get your freak on. 
okay, that venom right there in that middle panel, that's mm-hmm. why I say it's got some Toddisms. Because that's definitely some McFarlane inspired Venom face. If you go back look at what Venom looked like in the first, you know, few issue appearances, it was much more like that. Not so much the uh, teeth that became. Hail John, good to see you, brother. Mm. Been a second. By the way, 91 people in the chat. I'm happy to see all you guys. Thank you. This is our new night. This is Appreciating Comic Book Art Live. We're going to be on Mondays now going forward um, at 10, 10, 15-ish. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit, bit later. But if you haven't yet, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And just know I love each and every one of you out there. Great body proportions. Thank you, Kayla. I was just going to bring that up. Go ahead and you talk about it. Oh, no, I just I think the body proportions are absolutely gorgeous. All the characters on the page, pretty much. But I know you're more talking about um, (laughs) no. So, well, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, I'm definitely talking about the curves. I mean, if you just look at the bodies in general, I mean, Brett was always good. Just even even dudes, you know, (laughs) Mike's got an ass. You you can tell he works out, you know, I'm kind of jealous. (laughs) But no, her body is absolutely gorgeous. (laughs) You know, and the inking again, just the way that they use the blacks in the costumes where you had mostly, you know, like I think it comes from McFarlane a little bit when you have mostly black dominating the costume with a little bit of the highlights hitting the actual color. There's something about that inking style that just brings out the shape and the depth of the costumes. Mm. Who colored Great this? two-page sequence. Uh, Wildstorm. Wildstorm did. Let me see. Where? Let me get a second. It's just brilliant. Where are the credits? Okay, here we go. Colors by Jessica Ruffner. Oh, there you go. And Wildstorm right. FX. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful, though. Beautiful work. Yeah. Again, like I said, the color houses that Image had, Wildstorm, Top Cow, uh, Extreme, Tom McFarlane, they were just top of the game. I mean, I, I liked what Marvel was doing in the 90s, mid-90s, late 90s, but they, they couldn't touch, in my opinion. Oh, their shit uh, image was fucking colors. really depressing to look at. Because it, it, <laughs> it looked like it was just like one base airbrushed over like the the form of, of whatever the, the, the particular page would be. It just couldn't stand, hand a, uh, stand a candle to this shit. Uh, John, it came out in 96. This was part of the uh, when the Heroes Reborn thing was going on. They did a bunch of uh, crossovers with Wildstorm and Extreme Studios and actually a bunch of image people did crossovers, but it was right around that era. Oh, yeah, Kayla's got in there. Look at that. Live in the chat. Mm. Hosting and in the chat. Give it up to everybody. Yeah, that face right there, like the dude with the glasses, that's to me in this era, it was very stereotypical for Brett. In fact, I don't know how many times I drew this face. The old guy? No, the dude with the glasses. Well, I guess, <laughs> okay. yeah, he does glasses too. No, the, the sunglasses. You know, Agent Smith mm. over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say that. <laughs> but I think I drew, uh, I was trying to draw like Brett at one point, you know, trying to like really get that style of faces down. Now, look this at that shit. This is comics right here, everybody. Look at mm-hmm. this. Yeah, this is superhero. Oh, this fuck. is what this screams to me. Damn. It's amazing too how this flows so well with that mm-hmm. other page where normally you wouldn't think so, but it's because of how he positioned the bodies, the perspective of the buildings, the just the proportioning. His proportioning is phenomenal. That moon has a ton of detail too. I love the border. That mm-hmm. He puts on this. He could have just had it be a full splash if he wanted to, but he really frames it out well. And they just they're jumping out of the frame very 3d in your face yeah like uh, like i said this is this is one of the reasons why i fell in love with comics when i was a kid and it still excites me the same amount look at the detail in the forearm i need to start drawing forearms like this like this is what i think is missing in comics anybody who's got this kind of art style i just it's gonna hold a special place in my heart because to me this is the way figure drawing should look it's just so smooth so crisp is beautiful to look at. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is this is so this is so awesome. This is a treat to look at this. I'm trying to look at more inspiring stuff. You're like for a while I was trying to break off and do a lot of different things. We had a lot of new people coming into the channel. 
I want to get back to looking at some really truly inspiring things uh, for me personally. You know, hey, we got uh, MSK in the house. What's up? What's going on, brother? Hey, man, how to do that angle on street? What? Hmm? How do you do oh, that? Oh, the top thing? On stream yard. Yeah. You mean the three of us on top? Oh, yeah. Hmm. They've got, there's, there's like a new edit. You can edit the layouts right at the bottom right. Uh, and you can do all different kinds of things. And create your own layouts, you know. This is one that I kind of like. Uh, this is another version, but sometimes we get lost in in uh, comments. So, the perspective on the other page is just the building when they're on top of that building there. Let me That's back up for such a, a great shot. A downward yeah, shot there. Nice. That is such a great downward shot. I really like to. Um, the use uh basically like the reason why he positioned that is so he was able to show off the back of the costume it's actually very smart yeah so a, again this was a cool costume that at the funny. time by the way we just hit a hundred in the chat everybody do i have anything cool for that uh let me see that should be celebrated here what about what about there we go we'll do this We got three watching over on Rumble. Thanks for being here. I was waiting for Sean's dance. Do the he dance. did last time. <laughs> he had that whole dance. Uh, oh, I uh, think the word whores. 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 Man, that's a that's, really cool scene right here. Yeah, that's funny, sweetheart. They say the same about whores. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. And, 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 and who says God. some old men talking about comic books is boring? I don't. Oh, yeah. You know? Since yeah. when did I become an old man? Well, you know, uh, you're, you're just kind of sagging. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do I need Botox? Is that what you're telling me? Uh, I, I mean, Botox. not directly. Let's go. Let's Give me go. a fucking complex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, Sean and I were in our forties. You know, I still consider myself a pretty young, you know, forty-year-old. I do have some gray. That's you know, I started getting gray when I was twenty-five. All right, come on, let's go. Uh, Sean is right. If Marvel got Brett Booth to draw Spider-Man, it would be epic. Rain. It would I be agree. spectacular. This is so great. Love rain. X Men. Mm. Oh. Uh, all right, so we're still getting to some really cool stuff. It's about to it's about to pop off here. Some really awesome shit in this uh, story. It's about to go down. About to go down. <laughs> Look at that nice little backhand there. Stunk. What is that? Whack. 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 <laughs> I love the panel beforehand. He's just like, you. <laughs> you dirty bastard, you. <laughs> John says he's 60. All right. What? I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. Yeah. I don't believe it. Like You're, looking 60. You're looking 60. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is what's what up. did I tell that you? That is so mm -hmm. dope. That is oh, crazy. Man. This I is love the kind of fun stuff to draw in comics. Like I like drawing everything. Sequential storytelling. You have to have a love for sequential storytelling because there's a lot of things you're going to draw that you don't really excite you about. You know, Get to something like this, though. Double page spread. Just balls to the wall. Mm -hmm. Awesomeness. Shout out to Brett Booth. Brett motherfucking Booth, by the way, mm -hmm. is his name. Put some respect on it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. But you know what's great, too? A lot the of middle things. of the comic. <laughs> no, and like in the middle of the comic book, they didn't like it doesn't cut off any of the art. A lot of mm -hmm. times, even nowadays, the splash pages get all fucked up. Because it's hard to it's hard time. to plan that too. Yes, yeah. like this is just so well done. I love everything that's like floating around too. It really gives more of that dynamic feeling and the illusion that they're popping. He's got the glass them, exploding. So. You know, love the reactions uh, behind Pike and Venom. So okay, cool. yeah, good depth, good depth. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Didn't miss here. Black Spider says, so many great artists not drawing Marvel or DC. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I mean... Can't afford them. 
can't afford him. That's a, that's one of the big things. I mean, you can't bring in a guy like Booth or you know whoever so they, and they pay them the money they're gonna pay now. They would have put Brett Booth on an X Men book, and they would have hit up Chris fucking Claremont. Oh yeah, that's what they would have done. That would have been a great way. Instead Did Chris of ever write Spider Man? That'd be interesting. Um, I can't remember right now. Was it the annual with the? Uh, I think he did do an annual. Did? Yeah. yeah. Did he? Interesting. I, did. I believe so. Yeah. We got Matt S in the house says, uh, "Late to the party, but the character taboo was everything." Uh, oh yeah, hundred percent. Great care again. If you follow this channel, you know I have a love for the '90s. I have a love for Image Comics because I thought they just had fresh, new, awesome characters that fit the the day and age, right? The the pop culture of the '90s. Everything that Image did, I thought, was just great character designs, badass concepts. Even if they weren't the most original, they just they had something to it. Like they captured the zeitgeist of the comics in the nineties. All right, look at that hatching. Yeah, I was like, just about to say. The feathering coming there. out that is fucking beautiful. It's, the this is, action scene. Got a brush or a nib? This is just makes me think of manga. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what uh, McQueenie uh, inked with. Mm. Every time I thought it was. I'm not good at spotting it because every time I think it's like a nib, someone's like, Oh, yeah, that was a brush. Oh, it's a like, brush. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a croquel. See, that's um, what I would say. Maybe. I would say to me, it looks like a nib, but you know, it could also it could be a really fine brush. There were some people that did amazing inking with brushes that just mm -hmm. blow me away. I have no idea how they did it. Yeah, Pike is the Deadpool guy. Yes. <clears throat> oh, man. Just a, that's, that's a, just, awesome. Fun yeah. as hell. The paneling is great. The action beats are awesome. Look at his traps. Those are fucking phenomenal. Yeah. I got to step on my gym game. He did not miss any workout days. None. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just beautiful line work. I, you'll hear me say it over and over again. I just, I can't get over like how much awesomeness this kind of art style is. Okay, here we go. Let me pause this for a second. Then it says, all the great ones seem to only do covers these days. Then you open up interiors. It's like, what the fuck? That's it's, how they get you. I don't well, know. They're paying, the, they're paying the cover artists more because it catches the eyes. And then they're trying to save money by hiring artists that are working Argentina. for a cheaper amount of, like a cheaper rate. Yeah. However, it's, um, I will say that I don't find the art nowadays to be as problematic as the storylines the storylines are like unsavable for the most part but there is some decent that makes stuff. it even worse because yeah, the storylines are unsavable and the art kind of sucks a lot of times there is mm -hmm. actually like some decent um, there is stuff. there is there is some decent stuff you just have to really look for it i paint that with a wide brush sometimes when i say the art sucks i mean it's there's a lot of talented artists still i mean there's a guy right now Never remember his name, but dude doing uh Daredevil Black Armor. I'm really enjoying his art. Nathan Diaz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like, yeah. I, I've really yeah. enjoyed his. I've, I've talked to I've talked to him about coming on uh on Ott and stuff and uh maybe working that out at some point, but I'm really enjoying his work. So I mean there's definitely artists out there that I'm liking current, but for the mo most part, the style I like to see in comics, it's kind of you know, it's just eh. They gave him uh, JP Meyer for that. That was fucking phenomenal to get that guy to ink his shit. Oh, like that yeah, guy, yeah. that guy's in the same school as like Adelso or Mickey. It's a good like, combination. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys yeah. Very cast. intricate, very, very yep. phenomenal I think line weights. I think uh, he's got a new uh, X Men book coming out. He's working on X Men. I, I don't know if JP's. Uh, I don't know if he's uh, inking it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're doing like three or four new X Men titles to try to save X Men, but good luck. Yeah, they're gonna try, and uh, hopefully, I mean, I'm I'm all for it. If you can do it, do it. It needs to be saved. And get some good talent on it while you do it. Uh, this is uh, the Venom or this, the Carnage like character. So if you guys didn't catch it, Pike gets one of the symbiotes. Venom. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is just it's an awesome design. It is actually really cool. And he's he's tall as shit. Like he's a fucking giant, like 15 feet tall. I mean, maybe not that tall, but he's tall. Yeah. Most I think of it's it like is a wild, language. a wild storm uh, emblem on his chest. Oh, like, who, wants a, does, yeah. who wants a pee on your chest? Yeah. Like, that's a whack. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's just beautiful work. Uh, Booth does a great job of drawing all the muscles on the characters. Very nice. Yeah. And I think you should. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> it, it's fantasy, right? <clears throat> I love They're that. Wearing skin tight, skin tight clothing. 
<laughs> sometimes I think sometimes I think it's in Venom's character where he just looks so goofy, like he's having a good time, right? Like sometimes it just looks like he's got a giant smile on his face because the way yeah. the shape of his mouth. Here's some early on blur effect. See uh Spider-Man's mm -hmm. foot there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were really starting to get into this uh effect around this point, late 90s, and I hated it. I still don't like it. I'm not a big fan Wait, of blur. What? I think what? Hello, hello lore. Great covers and bad interiors is the equivalent of bringing a chick home and her dick is bigger than you. <laughs> I never brought a chick home with a with a dick. Oh geez. That's well, that scary. Would, that would suck. Yeah, you're like, oh. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That'd, that'd yeah. be a damper on the night. Yeah. Got uh SFG in the house says hail Comscape, hail to you. Hail you. Yeah, look at the size of Pike in his uh symbioted outness. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Mm -hmm. And Kayla just disappeared. She's back. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't breathe for a second. <laughs> Laughing just... too hard. Yeah. So. Uh, let me pause this real quick. Henry says, "Joe, I once mentioned all of you drawing on the stream. Kayla as well. When is this going to go down? Probably not. Me, dr me drawing on a stream. No." I do, I do remember you mentioning it, and I'm, I'm down to do it. We used to have this thing back in the day when Ott and Stuff first started. We had this thing called Sketch and Stuff. And yeah. we did like a Saturday night, a random Saturday night, where we just got a bunch of artists together, and we sat in here, and we just kind of all drawed. Drawed? That's not a fucking word. We, drew. we all drew. We drew. <laughs> we drew. And it was fun. It was a good time. So maybe we have to uh, revive that. Bring that back. Yeah, I know Corey I mean, keeps I asking me about that every once in a while. He's like, what are you guys going to do that again? I'm like, I don't know. We're fucking busy. Well, yeah, we'll I feel it like out. if you do it, I want to ask a thousand questions as you guys are working because I can't draw to save my fucking life. No, I actually, I think that would be good because I think you would ask questions. And you know, we could draw. And Yeah, and you know, yeah. we can answer, we can draw. I think it would be a really good uh, Q&A kind of as we were going. And none of us are professionals, by the way. We're all, mm -hmm. you know, amateurs. With like we, we, do, we would have Leroy uh, on to talk, but he would just make fun of us. Oh, and that's like, right. This sucks. Yeah. Leroy I, like, would be well, on. I forgot about I it. Someone would find me. I'm always fascinated by processes and I think it helps me when I'm editing a comic or <laughs> editing someone's art <laughs> that I can know more about the processes that an artist use. I think a lot of people are interested in just artistic processes and I always love to hear how artists explain them or why they're choosing to do something with whatever it is that they're creating. Just getting into the minds of everybody. I love that. I agree. I agree. Sheldon says, "Drawed, druid, drawn, drew." Mm. That is me. I, I thought this was going for like like a space ball joke. After that, the druids. The dru <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't speak sometimes. <laughs> probably all the drugs I did when I was in a band. Yeah, you know, my, my mind is probably partially fried. <laughs> it just doesn't work anymore. The good old bell. Mm hmm. Look at the texture uh, and everything, the line work that he does in the third panel over with just the bell showing the, the impact of the dong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm back. I'm back, everybody. Good to see you guys. Uh, great art, though. I dig it. Mm -hmm. Joe and Sean roast with Kayla as the roast master. Ooh, watch no, because she doesn't get jokes. That's true. She does not get jokes. Like yeah. No, I don't yeah. get jokes of certain subject matters. That's what most subject matters. Joe loves yeah, the yeah. dong impact. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> uh, I missed you guys. I missed everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all very, very much. Uh, if yeah. you guys haven't, if you're just joining the stream, this is Backlash Spider Man from 1996. We're looking at Brett Booth art, uh, just wrapping up here, but a very fun find. If you get a chance, go out and buy this just for the art alone i mean the story's good you know me i don't read a lot unless it's like genuinely you know exciting for me to want to actually know what the story is because i get so much out of the art like i just like it, i'm so satisfied with the art uh but if you dig this go out and find it uh, i always like it to hear when people have watched the show and have gone out and, and bought the books that we were showing on here that makes me feel happy joe took a month off and didn't think to learn how to speak <laughs> yeah uh it didn't help 
That didn't help at all. That's for sure. Mm. Right. Exactly. It's got to be mandatory. Yeah. The minimalist backgrounds, it's just very much screams manga to me in a lot of aspects. And I didn't realize that before now. So that's one thing we've talked about when we've had on Brett or anybody from the same thing with Frega or Rot, any guys we've had on from the 90s that kind of came up there. They've talked about how the influence of manga was or manga, whatever you say. Uh, back during that time of how much that was being brought into the Western art. And I think one of the reasons why I think the nineties were so great, because it had a good blend, not that, not like a Joe mad kind of style, you know, where it's like, like that purposeful blend, but they were bringing in techniques and things that improved mm -hmm. on the Western style of art and just really gave us some energy and excitement going into the nineties. And just, I mean, we had some amazing stuff in the nineties. This is example one. Just go watch the rest of our videos. I mean, you see how much stuff that we look at from the 90s. It was just inspiring, amazing. Uh, yeah, I thought this was kind of cool. Yeah. I got close to see. I mean, you can't really see a lot, but I always like when they put black and white versions of pages or whatever in, in the back of books. Damn, that one fucking Gen 13 piece will probably be is in a couple thousands by now with the pit. Or any of these fucking things. How about oh, the, other the pit guys? one? Yeah, yeah. Especially with pit in it. Someone yeah. owns it and isn't giving it up. That's what I would assume. Oh man, if I owned any of these, they they would be locked away. I would never sell it. Well, never say never, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it, it would be five up. bucks is five bucks. Yeah, five five bucks is five bucks. Gen thirteen is something we still need to look at. The mini series and maybe like the first three issues of the ongoing series because I think that was just amazing work by. Uh, mm -hmm. J. Scott Campbell. It was his best work. Definitely his best work. Best uh, style. What do you think, Sean? What do you think? I don't know. That would be my favorite. I'm going to say hands down the that's Gen 13 run. Work. Just the sketches he provided for that, what he was supposed to be doing for the, the Jeff Loeb series from like 05, 06. I think nothing can touch that. It's it's hardly mm. available to see on the internet these days, but it's like, God damn. Like he was on fire on all cylinders. Like he made the Gen 13 shit look like, you know, rookie shit, which it was. Yeah. That shit was fire. Yeah. I mean, he's, <clears throat> I still like, he's, he's definitely had different periods in his uh, career, which I think was great for me personally. I just, I like the rawness of his, his youth, you know, learning how to draw in the setting he did mm -hmm. with Gen 13 and then coming out from the mini series and hitting that ongoing series and just stepping it up a level, you know, <clears throat> That's what I love seeing from that mini series to that ongoing series. Just the the level he pushed it up, the art in that was just it was absolutely amazing. Who inked him in that? Garner. Garner, yeah, Gardner. Those those two guys together made a hell of a hell of a team. Uh, yeah, Backlash Spider Man. Everybody go check it out. Uh, I'm gonna bring this down real quick just to let you guys know. Let's get back to a regular setting here. I'm gonna get started real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh well, shit. Well, I can't talk too much then about what's uh. With Sean leaving, Kayla, what do you got going on? You got your show going up, but we're wasting, we're not wasting. Do time. I have my time show Sean going up? Yeah, you're point. gonna do a show here pretty soon. Yeah, at, at some point, yes. So now that things are getting settled, um, yeah, I will be probably after you guys stream ANS, so it'll be on Thursdays. All right, I'm gonna drop a poll in the chat. Did you like? Backlash, Spider Man. Did I spell that right? Did no. you spell that right? <laughs> <laughs> I hit the wrong. There we go. Spider Man. Fuck. Messed that one up too. E R M A N. Okay. Did you like Backlash, Spider Man? Yes or no? In the poll or in the chat. I want to see if you guys uh, dig this and uh, hopefully go out and check it out. So vote in that. All right. Sean. Sean's back. Joey. All right, so check it out. I told you I had a couple announcements <clears throat> after we were looking at Backlash. Spider-Man, and here is one of them. Uh, my comic book, Reaper Destroyer, by the way, if you guys haven't backed it yet, it's still live in Indiegogo, went into editing, is back from the editor. I have it in my hands. We're getting ready to go to the next step, which is the lettering. We're going to send it to the great Eric Weathers here in a little bit to get that going. So hopefully getting that comic into your guys' hands in the next few months. Uh, I can't wait, but I am extremely fucking excited about how this book turned out. Uh, 
just watching everything come together. The, the team I've been able to work with is amazing. Shout out to uh, Dave Kemp for bringing the colors together, uh, going over all the color edits over the last couple of weeks with him, just finalizing everything and seeing it just, uh, it just looks so beautiful and seeing the script come together. Um, shout out to Mark for doing the editing. Shout out for, to Kayla for being uh, my, uh, my right hand man on a lot of things with, with, with uh, questions I had throughout the process. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to read it. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. It's the first issue kicking off a, a, an ongoing series. So I debuted. I was going to do this on this show last week, but we decided to push the show one more week. I debuted the final trailer. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, my book is called Reaper Destroyer. This is the final trailer uh, I dropped last week with music by Mine Enemies Fall. <laughs> I'm extremely fucking excited for that. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a rough, it's been a rough month, but coming out of everything going on with my dad uh, and my family and being able to actually see the finish line in sight with the book, I wish my dad was still here to be able to see the book. Um, but I know he was uh, very excited about it uh, when I was working on it. So definitely dedicating the book to him. That will definitely be in, in that uh when you guys see it when you read it here hopefully in the next few months but uh yeah uh this anyway I, I couldn't have i couldn't see, have asked he, for, he yeah. knows all the hard ass work you put into this amazing comic book he knows brother yeah no yeah. um so thank you everybody thank you for backing the book is still available to back if you, i'm gonna be actually ending some of the tiers coming up here very shortly i'm gonna start uh, narrowing it down and i'll let you guys know before you do before i do uh thank you dennis appreciate it yeah i i had a blast making that uh that trailer as well like that just that, that killed man that kicked snap fingers to walk across the dance floor like ace ventura <laughs> i like that i like that let's go you send that trailer to Mandy to show on Pimp My Comic Stream. I could. I could. I didn't think about it. Uh, yeah, there you, I, I'll take it either way. Either way. Um, we got Rick Saylor. Where did Rick go? Just saw him pop in here. Motherfucking there Rick Saylor. Motherfucking Rick Saylor dropping the link in the chat there for <laughs> Reaper Destroyer. Get the Destroyer tier. You get absolutely everything, including metal cards and all this awesomeness. He'll be on Thursday night on Ott and Stuff to talk more about, about art when it comes to both our campaigns uh we have links below for everything reaper destroyer is let me show you guys real quick uh i don't know if i got to uh actually oh shit with everybody for yeah. going over 70 70 yeah because of all you the stuff that was going on over the last few weeks i oh, kind of wow. congratulations thank you thank you i didn't get a chance to like yeah. actually bring it up to everybody and say like we did it guys we fucking hit 70k on the campaign which right. i have to say this man right here predicted from the get-go. I remember when I was getting ready to launch this, he's like, dude, this is going to hit 70K. And I was like, no, nah, man, you're crazy. You're crazy, Rick. And uh, he was proven right. And now he wants to go to uh, 75. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it going. If you guys haven't yet, please back uh, Reaper Destroyer. This is my comic book. Uh, I used to kind of say this was my ode to the 90s, but that's not true. This is just kind of my influence. Uh, everything you see on this channel, 
art wise is that's just what i was influenced in when i was growing up art style and that's, that's what i kind of want to bring back to uh comics the best i can but i try to have much more when people think of the 90s books they they kind of shit on the storytelling which i get some yeah. of the storytelling in the 90s wasn't stellar right so i'm trying to make sure that people understand like this isn't a 90s book it might have a, the flavor as far as the art style goes but it's very uh as modern as i could get with the writing uh aspect of it if you go check the link out check this out i've got pages on here got some script these are not the final pages because the final pages are all done and ready to go and they look absolutely beautiful uh with the, some of the tweaks we did so check this out i do want to say because kayla is here she's part of the show she's actually part of this campaign she wrote a story for me in the supplemental book a story of a character named vanessa a very uh very <laughs> sexy story but this is very uh thought-provoking too don't don't let the boobies fool you this is an amazing <laughs> short story in the supplemental book uh with amazing art by fabio samo who absolutely just just killed it on this killed it yes <laughs> rick's reminding everybody that he's always right uh that's 107 107,000 australian dollars there you go i'll take that it's like a million dollars in canadian money is this youtube uh, or x we're both. everywhere yeah it's uh we're actually streaming to x for the second time and it's actually going good i don't see any pixelation i think the video is streaming good so shout out to anybody that's watching on x over there i appreciate you guys checking this out uh what was i saying oh yeah supplemental book right here just beautiful art fabio samo go check him out kayla wrote an amazing story i can't wait for you guys to read that she's an awesome awesome writer uh she's gonna be coming out with lots of things coming up here over the next couple years including stuff for me as well uh i wrote a story where i was the writer for the first time and somebody else drew i worked with a guy named oliver isabedra on the uh, backup story for one of my characters apophis and this is his art right here absolutely just ah makes me sick is what it does mm. He's such a good artist. It makes me sick looking at his stuff. Beautiful work. Loved it. Looks great. So, yeah, check that out, guys. I appreciate you sticking around and checking out some of the, of the shilling. Uh, I do want to say, Sean, our co-host here, Yo. before we jump into our new show announcement, has a book as well called Type 1. Sean. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it while we're here. This book doesn't suck. Back it. Don't be a bum. Hell yeah. Back Type 1. That's all Let's I got to go. say. Awesome art, awesome story, awesome lettering, awesome coloring, awesome pages. It's just awesome. Awesome covers, awesome pages, <laughs> awesome colors. It doesn't suck. Look, you're like this this blue guy. He looks stupid. Nah, read the book. Yeah. You bought worse. I'm just going to say it. You bought worse. And we all know the books I'm talking about. <laughs> you bought worse. So don't be a bum. Back type one. That's all I got for you, people. That's Hot. all my schmoozing. <laughs> Oh, How long sure. you been working on that one? That was good. I like that. I just popped it out of my head. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little hangry. <laughs> I didn't have enough dinner, so I'm, I'm snacking. But yeah, no. Thank you, everybody that believes in this project. Thank you for your, your sharing it, for all the excitement you, everyone that that's excited for it has for it. All the doors it's opening up for me, which I couldn't fathom pro previously. So yeah, I feel very, very blessed. And I'm working on pages as we speak. So. No, it's gonna, awesome. just, it's gonna be uh, awesome. I just, just really excited. Just, I get to draw the comp, one of the comic books I've always wanted to do as a kid, doing it now. So, just the first of many. Work with some badasses too. too. Like, look at this signature right here. This is Dan Kemp. That's a Spawn yeah. artist or colorist, colorist for years. Yeah, man. And I get to work with his brother Dave Kemp. Some good hands when it comes to the colors of these of these books, guys. I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's something yeah. else for yeah. sure. And, uh, this Thursday, we're gonna be redoing the uh, the uh, the donate tier when Rick announces who the uh, mystery artist is that we're going to give away. Uh, it's going to be essentially buy one, you're donating two, and then we're going to give the person that's donating a metal card, metal trading card nice. from Phoenix, I believe, as a thank you. And then we're going to give the kids paper. So even if you donated prior, we're still going to, we're still going to hit you up and I'm going to send you this, but the kids won't get metal because we don't want them throwing like ninja stars. Like reading, the, like being inspired by reading type one and be like, oh, I'm streets and fucking flying metal cards at their cats. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's, probably, uh, it's been a probably a good a, idea. Probably a good yeah. idea. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit well, more look, about the donate a tier just so people understand what that is. Oh, sure. So, look, we, yeah, yeah, you right here. This is the first one. We, we, it's okay. We, we figured out the price point. 
you buy a book, we're going to donate it to a child with uh, type 1 diabetes. Yeah. Uh, so they can find some sort of inspiration, hope, and then when they have bad days of their yo-yo levels, because this disease sucks, dude. Like, there's days I can't get out of bed because of the yo-yo levels. And just to be a kid, like, that's not the world they want to live in. So yeah. hopefully that this, this gives them some sort of uh, hope and, uh, you know, some entertainment. And I've gotten kids telling me that they want to create now just from the preview book or seeing this. No, that's awesome. Like, oh, you think this is cool? Back Reaper Destroyer. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Can't 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 wait. But anyway, so so Thursday we'll announce who the artist is because I don't know. I don't know who the artist is that 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 Rick uh, thankfully commissioned for us. Yeah, it's a mystery. Yeah, so we'll find that out, and then by this weekend we'll we'll have the new tier. We'll close down the donate tier, reopen up a new one, and we'll explain all this uh, w- what's going on with it. So. You know, so that's it. That's my spiel. Oh, Lieutenant Hughes. Lieutenant Hughes is in the house. Says good evening, folks. Hail to the panel. Hail to the chat. And oh, smooch to the lovely Kayla. Hope you're mm. doing well, Joe. Back Reaper Destroyer and back type one. Member of the channel for 15 months, brother. Thank you mm-hmm. so much. That's awesome. Uh, I've been slacking lately on the uh membership uh goodies, so to speak. Uh, mm. but I will be get back to getting to uh some good stuff for all the members we have on this channel you guys deserve it i appreciate you very much um before we get out of here i'm gonna show you one last thing so we're doing a new show this is what's going to happen uh sean and i and kayla too i don't know if i've confirmed that she's gonna be on it or not i think she's gonna try to what is going on i've been working on me while you've been out well damn look i got some guns going whoops Sorry, wrong one. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna bore you up there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you got some guns going on there. You know, I'm gonna yeah, start I'm rivaling uh, Mark up. there in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I could take him too. <laughs> uh, by the way, the poll has 19 votes. We got 117 people watching. By the way, shout out to everybody in the chat. We love you guys. Hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. I appreciate it. And vote in the poll. I want to know if you guys liked Backlash Spider Man. If you're gonna go out and check it out, uh, 19 of you are. That's awesome. <laughs> and if you uh, did, how's it feel to be wrong? Well, that too. That too. That too. I hope you guys are enjoying the new night Monday at 10, 10, 15 ish. We're going to be doing the show now. And the reason I kind of did that is I just wanted some more of a gap between shows. It was kind of like right in the middle of the week. We were doing back to back kind of shows. It was uh, getting a little daunting with the the home schedule. So we're going to do beginning of the week, end of the week. And so far, it's been a good uh, debut on a Monday night at 10 p.m. All right. Starting next Monday at nine, we're going to do back to back shows. And this is purely because I'm lazy. I don't want to do more nights. I want to do more shows without <laughs> having to do more nights oh, of actual yeah. streaming. <laughs> so I came up with this brilliant idea. I'm like, why not do two shows? We do back-to-back shows. So Monday at 9, we're going to start doing this thing called the Spawn Review, which is going to be everything Spawn. We're going to be talking about the uh, – it primarily because Brett Booth, right? So this relates to this show as in Brett Booth took over Spawn starting with issue 350, and he's going to be going on for as long as he goes. Hopefully it's for you know a good two-year run. I would love that. But we're going to be following the new current storyline. We're going to do reviews of the storyline. I'm going to actually read the books, and this is going to be important for everybody that's a regular watcher out here. I'm going to actually read the books, and we're going to talk about the story, the current story of Spawn. We're also going to go back in time. And we're going to start from issue one and start reviewing the story arcs from issue one until we catch back up to issue 350 or whatever it is we are when we get there. Uh, covering art, games, movies, toys, breaking news. We're going to try to do everything we can on this show, 9 p.m. every Monday, right before uh, uh, stuff, right before Aqua, appreciating Comic Book Art Live, the Spawn Review. So check that out. Uh, more information will drop as we go. But I'm pretty excited about doing that. Uh, something I've been wanting to do for a little while. And Sean's like an expert, so he's going to bring me along with stuff that you know I kind of dipped out with and didn't read. There's, a lot of stuff There's about a hundred issues we don't gotta gotta get into. Like the, from like two hundred plus to like three, you know. We yeah, might play it fast and loose with stuff. some stuff after issue one hundred. Yeah, yeah, you might be a little fast and loose with some stuff after issue one hundred. That's that's for sure. But <laughs> we're gonna dive into uh, one of our favorite characters, uh, Spawn, and I think as a character is kind of blowing up right now, especially with uh, with Booth coming on and doing the main title. Gunslinger was awesome. You know, we'll cover stuff like Gunslinger and other titles as well. But it's just basically Spawn Universe inspired. And uh, maybe we'll get uh, Brett on to talk a little bit about it at some point as well. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Anything Spawn, I'm down. That's what I'm saying. So let's go. So check it out. Two shows, Mondays, back to back, 9 p.m. The, sh- the, sh- the, sh- what? the Spawn Review. 
10 15 appreciate it, council guard live and maybe kayla will be there for both but she'll be definitely be on aqua because we can't we can't do the show without her yeah it is it, it's been awesome i'm not sure if it was dennis or somebody but they asked what we thought of of the current spawn i have to say that i love it i took a long long period off kind of like sean said issue 100 ended i didn't start reading spawn again to issue 300 so I took a long time off from Spawn because I was just, it was, it, I was really big into Kupulo, man. And when he left the book, uh, I probably should have given some of the other artists a chance. And I just couldn't for some reason. I just left the book and I didn't come back. But 300 rolled around and kind of sparked some excitement again, getting back into it. Brett jumped on Gunslinger, uh, followed all 25 issues, I think, or whatever he did of Gunslinger. And now jumping onto Spawn 350 is the first actual book I've read. It was spawn book I've, I've read a few other books first actual spawn book i've read in years and i actually was really excited like i got drawn into the story of course brett's art is there so it's making it even even better but i'm about it. to spoil it for me i'm like no i i almost i almost spoiled it for sean but he, yeah. he he had already guessed it anyway yeah he, had already, he already guessed the end of it but we'll yeah, talk more about that to, uh next monday we'll really kind of dive into where spawns at where it's going uh, and just kind of get you guys prepared as we go forward with that show. But I think it's going to be a fun show. Join us uh, in the comments. I mean, you can DM us anything that you have as far as like questions about Spawn or comments DM about it. You DM me. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, okay. my DMs are always open. Yeah. You know, I'm here for you guys. And uh, we're doing something else in the summer. We are. We'll we'll wait to announce that. Oh, okay. for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We're, there's another show we're going to be cooking up which I think will be very fun. If the, uh, if the spawn show goes well and you guys dig that, we're going to jump into another show. that's kind of similar to it with another character that we, that we really love and inspired us. And I think will be badass to get into and, and uh, really dissect the history. So we're going to do a trial run with the spawn show. We'll see how that goes. Uh, yes. You're going to have to get all of those issues. Now mm. go, go to your comic book store, go to eBay. Let's go. But we are going to start with issue 100 and go right along with issue 350 starting next monday so pretty excited for that kayla are you going to make that show or what's up with that um well it just depends on work That's yeah, kayla, yeah. yeah kayla yeah. will definitely be there if she can because i would love her I'll insight as well especially we're going to talk about stories well you know what i'm really interested that is going to be coming out as far as spawn goes is i believe it's liam sharp is doing spawn dark ages and yes. the artwork that he's been posting. I've seen some stuff. Looks really cool. It is so great. It's so reminiscent of like Hugh Sema or Barry Winsor Smith working it, on Conan the Barbarian. And it yeah, it's killer looking. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm pumped for that when that comes out. So yeah, I think everyone's down to look at some spawn stuff. So I'll well, be curious to see how that ends up panning out. I think that's what's going to be fun about the show because there's there's the main titles, but there's so many offshoots of Spawn. There's so many new things happening right now. It's really exciting. I don't know if I dreamed this or not. Maybe I did, but I thought I kind of heard that they were going to be bringing back the animated show. Maybe I dreamed that. I don't know. Oh, he's maybe been trying. Animated maybe show. that's he, wishful he, thinking, but I hope they he's, do. He's got the voices recorded already, but that's just another thing. Yeah, keep hearing about well that in like the spawn movie, you know, it keeps kind of <laughs> it's out there, you know. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but you know, it's it's there it's somewhere. It's funny when, when it's like, oh, I got spawn movie news. You're like, oh great. <laughs> well, what, what art are we gonna hear this time? He's like, We got a producer. Okay, like, yay. Yeah, <laughs> lock it in, buddy. Building. Let's go. Yeah, I wonder though if they're gonna be able to keep Jamie Foxx on because you know, nothing against that dude, but it's like 50 I, years honestly, old. You know what? I feel like they the younger might actor. back to no, they might as well just go back to the original actor of Spawn. Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White still looks exactly the fucking same. He I looks saw him fucking at awesome for his age. I saw yeah, him at no Comic Con. Crack. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sean. I'm jealous. So he was I'm at Comic Con, like it was like two years ago. I worked or something of the sort, and he was fucking in the best shape of his life, and he still looked pretty much the same. He looked fucking great. And just to know, like, I'd love to talk you to just dude. bring him back. And why are you taking Jamie Foxx? I mean, I, I, I don't get it. You know, I love and he wants, he probably movie. wants the star power. You know, I mean, it's Jamie Foxx is still a big name, 
uh, in Hollywood and in movies. I, well, I, I love that Spawn but, movie is a cult you know, classic. We'll get into the Spawn movie at some point in this series because it's a uh, it's not a great movie, but it's a fun movie, and I would definitely like to uh, jump into it. Uh, Bordeaux is in the house. Member of the channel. Hail, brother. Uh, M. Michael. G oh yeah, he's jacked. Yeah, he, like, he's he's, he's kept in ripped. hell of shape he's, over the years. The I don't even know how old he is, but he's got to be fifty. He's got to be. He's 50. a year younger than actually Jamie Fox. He's a year younger than. Him. Okay, so early fifties then, something like that. I'm not. I'm gonna go to Google. Yeah. You're, maybe, you're bringing it up like we know. Like, maybe, what's his astrological sign? Is he, is he a Taurus? I don't know either. I don't Dennis, know. we might we might talk about this next Monday. Not very much, but I do want. I don't know what's going on with it. I got to do a little bit more research. But there exactly. was an AI art that won the one of the Spawn anniversary covers. <laughs> did, they, cool. did you see that? I, I was told. I was kind of. You know, I was going through everything over the last few weeks. So I was kind of in and out of stuff, not really paying a lot of attention. To everything was going on, but I did see that. So I gotta see if uh if they corrected that or not because that's uh that's gonna it's cause cheating. some issues. Yeah, it's gonna cause it's some issues. I'm gonna say like I didn't know that. I was told it. I checked it out, and I was like, mm, that one know, over man. the Chris Graves or Enrico Bata or LB Robertson cover. Like oh, there were so many great covers. Yeah, Spawn anniversary was was a really good idea. There was a lot. I mean, there was also a lot of you know, there's all also just a lot of mid covers, right? But there was a lot of really good art that was put together by a lot of artists, and I didn't really see their names on the winners. I don't know who picked it. The point, you know, what you had to do, but seeing that the AI popped up, that was that was really disheartening. I'll say that. Um, Dennis Kelly said uh, Michael J. White is 56 years old. Yeah, mm. he's 56. He's also wow. has the same birthday as my dad. That is crazy. He's a Scorpio. Can we? Uh, we can get the Spawn Black Dynamite <laughs> crossover. We all oh, definitely could. <laughs> definitely, that's a great point. Great point. Uh, yeah, parts of Spawn movie were great. Yeah, I think the best part of the the Spawn you wear thing was like Todd's getting all his free art. He's got, he doesn't have to pay anybody. He's brilliant, man. Yeah. He's like, brilliant. We'll give it to you for free. It's like, nah, bud. He's like, Fuck that. he's like, we're going to do this contest yeah. to win a cover. By the way, professional artists are, are <laughs> able to do it. As, you. He's like, yeah. are able to do it as well. And I'm not paying you. You can own the art. <laughs> you can get the cover. I'm like, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant, Todd. That was uh, awesome. That was yeah. awesome. I was like, that guy's a businessman right there. <laughs> We're just cheap as shit. So I, I respect the, it. I, I respect the game. No, I, I love it. I love it. It's yeah, great. Yeah. More power to him. I like I as soon as I read that, I was like, yeah, like he's <laughs> he's got a cover. He's gonna have some he's gonna have some good covers, just from some professionals. No. Yeah. Uh Dennis said, I like my baby spawn. I did a little Scotty Young influence. You know, I don't know if I've seen that, man. Oh, Send it to me. Good. Yeah, I miss I might have missed that. Yeah, the HBO is what I'm talking. We'll we'll cover it. We'll jump into that as well. Like I said, there's so much stuff with Spawn, so much content that we'll get into. You know, uh, characters. I mean, we'll go over character backstories, but the HBO <laughs> series, the movie, obviously the comics. You got toys, uh, and you got one of the experts sitting right below here. Sean is going to be, you know, talking I am all about smart. It. He is. He is. We're going to dive into it. It's going to be really really fun. 9 p.m. Don't miss it. I think it's going to be a blast of a show. Uh my last comment where were you okay trayvon Rhodes should play spawn trevanti uh, yeah. Tra trayvon is that did i say that right i don't know who that is anybody yeah, yeah i agree i cast someone in the late 20s I'd, I'd cast a younger character if you especially if you want to do multiple movies i wouldn't mm -hmm. do an older guy because what you're gonna be 65 by the time you do spawn three <laughs> you know or even spawn two you'd be in your early 60s with Jamie Foxx, like I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, 9 p.m. Eastern. Sorry, 9 p.m. Eastern, and then 10 15 Eastern will be appreciating comic book art live. We're gonna do back to back shows. It's gonna be a hell of a fun night on Mondays. It's gonna be rocking and rolling. I can't wait. Uh, but guys, with that being said, I got 123 people in the chat. It is beyond awesome, beyond awesome. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we're excited to be back. You know, I don't like taking that much time off from uh sharing our passion with you guys and just you know having a fun time with the chat you guys crack us up love it see all the regulars in there 
Uh, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Consider becoming a member. Uh, share the channel on all your social media. Let people know. Let people know about the Spawn show we're going to be doing. I'm going to be do, dropping advertisements as we go, getting ready for that. Join us for it. Uh, I'll see if I can figure out some new emojis. We'll, we'll, we'll do some fun, fun stuff. But we're going to get back into the rhythm of doing things. Go check out Reaper Destroyer. Uh, getting ready to go to lettering. So we're so close to getting that book out. It's still live right now. You can back it. I'm going to be canceling some of the tiers going forward. So we're going to start narrowing it down to like pretty much mainly at some point the main cover and the destroyer tier. Uh, everything else will be uh, ixed out. We got Jason in the house. Wow, hey, oh, we, we love, love you. We love That's you, Jason. Dude. Speaking of Jason, uh, he's got an awesome piece uh, for the Destroyer tier backers, which we have 97. We're trying to get to 100. That's the number we're trying to get to. We got 97. But because we went over 60, Rick Saylor went and commissioned Jason to do a piece of Reaper Destroyer, which was absolutely awesome. Somebody of the 100 or the 97, whatever we end of the uh, Destroyer tier backers, we're going to raffle that piece off and you're going to get the original artwork uh, for just being a backer of the Destroyer tier. So check that out. Links are below. We appreciate you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to end you or leave you guys with the final trailer before we get out of here. Anything else anybody wants to say before we dip? Yeah, one last thing. Don't be a bum. You backed worst. Back type one. Yeah. Mm. All I got. Save the drama for your mama. Let's have fun at these streams. Uh, let's talk about art. Let's talk about boobs. Let's have a good time. As always, be good to each other. Take care of one another. And picture me naked. I'll talk to you all later. Spade and new.